<laughs> it can't be. Huh? The new Team Asteroid has surged ahead by taking the first win in this team card fight. That being said, the other two matches are still a long way from being over as our fighters look to propel themselves into the next round. Let me be clear. You fooled me with that little strategy of yours once before, but it won't work on me again. I don't need tricks to beat you. <laughs> you think so, huh? I won't forgive myself if I lose to her. <laughs> hey, Ren! This is the card I was shown. The one that will lead me to victory. <laughs> Okay? Hmm. I hope you're ready for this. <laughs> right! Midnight Invader! gonna take care of your silent tong. Red Eye will guard. Yeah, while well, my Midnight Invader attacks your vanguard. Lozenge Magus will protect me. Twin Drive. A critical trigger. All effects to my other Cerberus. Boosted by Skull Juggler, Cerberus charges in. Lozenge Magus will guard. Tagitsu Hime intercepts. <laughs> Things are getting hot as Misaki Tokura pulls out all the stops to defend against her opponent's aggressive wave of attacks. Let's turn it up. Goddess of the Half Moon skill, I check the top five cards of the deck. Goddess of the Full Moon, Sukuyomi, Superior Ride! Calling, Amate Rasu! and I'll have her take out the barking Cerberus on the right. The light of the full moon shines on your vanguard. Dynamite juggler will guard. Drive trigger check. A critical trigger. Everything goes to Silent Tom. Boosted by Gemini, Silent Tom takes aim. I nullify the attack with Hades Hypnotist. Mm. A 
Jessica just threw up a wall in the face of her opponent's assault. Neither of our fighters are leaving anything open. They're both so good, I couldn't tell you who's gonna win. But Misaki Tokura is in an excellent position right now as she's managed to superior ride on each of her turns, resulting in a minor card advantage. Oh, yes. So far in this match, I've seen 12 cards. Yikes. The Battle of the Blazers. Huh? Uh, he thinks wearing a jacket like that is a key to power, meaning... This is a first-class card fight. Let's go, Misaki! Do you think that maybe those jackets are powerful because they have strong shoulder pads? Oh, uh, never mind. Ha! It's too close to call. You're kidding me. <laughs> they call me the assassin for a reason. I'm ruthless with my opponents. It's obvious what you're trying to do, and it won't work against me. Memorizing the bottom of your deck is a waste of time. Now, would you like to see the grand finale? Reaching way out with the crack of her whip, bringing the action to her. Silver Thorn Dragon Tamer, Lukie, ride! <laughs> to help finish you off, I'll need something extraordinary. Her limit break! To the performers waiting off in the wings. Your time to take the stage has come. Silver Whip! Revelation! Three units just like that? There we have it! Oh, awesome! This is a particularly devastating ability, as it's given her the chance to superior call units straight out of the soil up to a maximum of one unit for each grade. Do you mean to say that under perfect conditions, she would have gotten four into play? That's simply incredible! Sadly for Q4, it doesn't end there. Yeah. Lukie is the master of beasts, and whenever a unit in the soul enters the battlefield, it charges her up with an additional 3,000 power. Which means 9,000 power is being added to my vanguard. So what are the chances you'll be able to defend like you did last turn? Uh -huh. Boosted by girl who crossed the gap. Barking Cerberus will take care of Silent Tom. <laughs> With help from Midnight Bunny, here I go. Uh, defending would be a waste. I'm not gonna guard. Checking the twin drive. Well, that critical trigger is a sight for sore eyes. Giving the power to Midnight Invader. And then, critical whip! Ah! With Midnight Bunny's skill, I move her to the soul, which enables me to superior call a purple trapezist. This girl retires. With Trapezist's skill, I send Cerberus to the soul. And I superior call it back to the field. Huh? Huh, you're in real trouble. Shall we bring this show to an end? Boosted by Trapezist, Cerberus! Get her! I need 15,000 to stop the next attack, and 10,000 to guard against this one. I can't do it. No guard. I'm still in this if I draw a heal trigger. Damage check? Uh, she beat me. The crowd goes wild, just as I thought they would. I look forward to performing for you again someday. So what? Have you done no training in the last couple months? Because the girl that beat me at Nationals isn't the kind of person who would fall to pieces like you did. What a joke. Uh, huh? Hey, Kamui. What's up? I lost. Me too. I'm sorry. Let's hope Aichi's able to win his match. Mm-hmm. Come on, bro. Hurry up, my turn's over. Riding player of the Holy Axe, Nimue! Moving Kriff to the back row, he gives his support to Nimue, and she's attacking your vanguard! 
If I let this through, you'll be able to activate her ability and superior Kali unit into battle. You leave me no choice. I'm gonna have to stop it. <sighs> Fine. Then I end my turn. Sounds good. I stand and draw. Black Dragon Knight, Vortimer, ride! Activating Scout of Darkness, Vortimer skill. Falcon Knight retires. Hmm. Superior call. <gasps> Elixir Sommelier, Gigantech Destroyer. By golly, ah! he's got himself a great three! <laughs> no way, but his vanguard is only a great two! Calm down! Huh? Okay. <clears throat> and as long as I have Scout of Darkness, Vortimer in the soul, 1,000 power is added. Calling player of the Holy Bow, Vivian! Are you ready? My Gigantech Destroyer will start off these attacks. He gets another 2,000 power when attacking a Vanguard. <laughs> Damage trigger check. Black Dragon Knight, Vortimer swings in next. I don't guard. Drive trigger check. <laughs> Boosted by Elixir Sommelier, Vivian's coming at you. My silent Punisher will guard. <laughs> well, that's my turn. Ren Suzugamori gets a grade three into the rear guard and is able to quickly deal two damage to his opponent. Indeed, which means Aichi has four cards sitting in his damage zone. Isn't that bad? It's only bad if you don't have access to a limit break. Oh yeah! Well, I guess we'll just have to see what Aichi has up his sleeve. Can he pull this off? Trump cards manifest before me. Chrono Dragon next stage. Vanguard the next stage. Now on sale. Special clan packs too. Bushy Road. I ride Knight of Superior Skills Bowman, calling Slagle Sword. Slagle Sword, get Vivian out of here. So long. No guard. Ah! Boosted by Criff, Bowman charges in. Bring it on. Trigger check. Ah! Ah! Damage check. Oh dear. Looks like I wasted a heal trigger. <laughs> I end my turn. He's ahead of me by one damage, but that's not a bad position to be in. I know I can do this! Hey, Aichi. Mm, what's up? When we played at the national tournament, you may have been able to defeat me, but today I take my revenge. <sighs> Stand and draw. I summon the Golden Dragon, rising from darkness to destroy my enemies. <gasps> Ride! Spectral Duke Dragon! <laughs> this unit will seal your fate. It's what was shown to us back on Cray. We both know I'm going to win. What'll it be? Are we gonna play this out to the end? You can't say for certain what's gonna happen here. Is that so? It's too bad you don't see it my way. Since I have Black Dragon Knight Vortimer in the soul, Spectral Duke Dragon gains 1,000 power at all times. Riding Dragon on Vortimer also activates his skill. I'll have Elixir Sommelier retire and check the top two cards of the deck. I can double Superior Call. And I activate Flash Edge Valkyrie's skill. Another superior call, and I'll call this. Oh, now that I think about it, I saw these units too. <laughs> <gasps> Act
activating Slagle Dagger skill, a counter blast for 2,000 power. The pieces have fallen into place, and I'm ready. Boosted by Blade Feather Valkyrie, Flash Edge Valkyrie attacks. Flame of Victory says no way! Ha! I stopped that one, but look at my hand. I've hardly got any defensive cards left. Slagle Dagger in support. Spectral Duke Dragon attacks. <clears throat> no guard! Oh, really? So you don't even care if I pull a critical trigger, huh? Drive check. <clears throat> my eyes will deliver me victory. And this trigger is a good start. <clears throat> now, let's see. That's 5,000 power to Gigantic Destroyer, and the critical stays with Spectral Duke Dragon. Damage trigger check. Giving power to my Vanguard. Then I draw. Well, that should help me a little bit. With Mark's boost, Gigantech Destroyer crashes in. It would take 10,000 to stop that, and without a grade zero, no, if I defend this one, I won't survive another turn. I'm not gonna guard. Seven damage? What is going on with IG Sendo down there? To make matters worse, Ren is still sitting at three damage. Wow, you realize that if this was a normal game, the score would be one damage against five? I hope you've got a plan, Aichi. <sighs> Come on! Ren, amazing as always. On the bright side, I've got a ton of cards I can use for counterblasting this turn. I'll use this to get myself back in the game. I stand and draw. Incandescent Lion, blonde as a ride! Oh, cool. I didn't know you had that guy in your deck. Activating Blondezel's skill with the power to overcome! Limit Break! Gaining Gareth's strength! Now let's take this up to the next level! One more time! Another 5,000 power to Ezel. Aichi manages to wow the crowd with a stunning double limit break. And why not? The stakes are high and he's got so much damage to work with. Then I call. The rear guard is full, meaning 5,000 power is added to Blonde Ezel using Slagle Sword's skill. Are you addicted to counter blasts or something? Let's do it. Boosted by weapons dealer Gwydion, Slagle Sword slices your vanguard! Go ahead. With Kriff's boost, Blonde Ezel is charging in on your dragon! Sorry to do this, after you put so much into that. Nullified. Oh, man. Checking Twin Drive. Critical trigger! giving all effects to Battlefield Tempest Sagramore. Supported by Gareth, Sagramore will cut you down to size. Counter Blast! Damage trigger check. At least I was able to get him up to six damage, but none of it really seems to phase him. He's good. Real good. My turn, then. I stand and draw. I call Slagle Dagger. Mark retires. With a counter blast, 2,000 power is added to Slagle Dagger. Activating that ability for my other Slagle Dagger as well. Then, boosted by Blade Feather Valkyrie. Flash Edge Valkyrie attacks. Flame of Victory will guard that. Boosted by Slagle Dagger, Spectral Duke Dragon follows up. Mark will nullify your attempt. Drive trigger check. Draw trigger. 
giving the power to Spectral Duke Dragon, and then I draw. Why are you giving power to a nullified attack? Oh, didn't you see? This is the unit that will claim my victory. Take to the skies again, and cast your shadow on this battlefield once more. My limit break. He stands. I knew this whole time that the game was going to end on this attack. <laughs> For such is the power of Psyqualia. Spectral Duke Dragon. Demolish Ezel! And there's our winner! New Asteroid has decimated Q4! Three wins and no losses moves New Asteroid on to the next round! That IG Sendo. What a bore. <sighs> Huh? huh? Nice. He fought his heart out today. Don't you think, Emmy? Yeah. Good job. Don't feel bad. You guys gave it your best. I'm sorry, everyone. I lost. No worries. I lost, too. It's not our day, all right? Hey, check this out. What? There's this power called Psyqualia. He beat me today, but I'll get Kai eventually. She's a lot stronger than she used to be. Ren, even if I had used that power, I doubt I would have been able to keep up with you. They lost, but they'll become stronger because of it. I warned them. A new strength would be waiting when they got to this stage. With Kai on our team, Asteroid is back and better than ever. I'm heading in. Don't just run off like that, Kai. Asuka and I, we were just talking about my Psyqualia. Wait up! It's incredible, seriously. I think it's safe to say that the new Team Asteroid is a force to be reckoned with at this stage of the VF circuit. Yeah, they've come crashing down from outer space. But only time will tell if this astral body has what it takes to claim the top prize here in South Korea's capital city. Oh, Mia, you've got to be kidding, because this rock is going to rock all. Oh! New Team Asteroid. Three players ready to take on the entire world.
We were outplayed. More like outmatched. Knock it off! Sure, they beat us today, but that's no reason to feel bad, right? Yeah, let's use this loss to push our skills to the next level. Nice. nice. I know we can do it. Next time, challenge of a hero. The final match of the Soul Stage has the new asteroid up against Team Caesar. It'd be good for us to watch them. Maybe we'll learn a thing or two. Come on, Caesar! I'm hungry for vengeance! Calm down, Kamui. Welcome back to the VF Circuit Soul Stage, where the final match is upon us. Oh. <laughs> we were only pretending to be a friend of those pyrotechnics. But our excitement is for real. And now for the big battle. One of these talented teams will win this stage. Returning from their hard-fought second place finish in Singapore, it's Team Caesar. And their opponents. This powerhouse team has shown us already that they're a huge threat. The new Team Asteroid. I hate being up here in the bleachers. I'd rather be down there fighting Team Caesar. Me too. Well, folks, this is exactly the kind of match that I was hoping for. These two great teams are about to face off into the victor go the spoils. It's time for us to choose a special rule. Oh, oh, draw. Looks like we've got ourselves a group rule once again. The stand three rule. Just when you thought you could start your turn by standing all your units, no, ah! -uh. This one is gonna be a challenge as our players won't be able to stand more than three. However, the unit in the vanguard circle will be completely unaffected. This limit only applies to the rear guards, okay? Huh? Does that make any sense to you? Mm -hmm. I see how it works. Mm -hmm. Listen up, kids, because I'm only gonna explain this once. With this rule, if you focus on having the most powerful attacks possible, then you'll be attacking less times. You can always opt to stand both units in the front row, but you'll suffer the penalty of not having the support of the units in the back row. Of course... The easiest way to work around this rule is to call new units into battle to replace the ones you didn't stand. Though too much of that and you'll have no cards left to defend with. Pretty much, no matter which way they choose to go about it, in this card fight, there will be less power for them to work with. Hmm. Less power, less fun. That rule is a pain in the neck. The final of BF Circuit Soul Stage! Oh. Now picture it! Let's play Vanguard! Stand up the Vanguard! Warrior of Destiny. Girl who crossed the gap. Dimensional Robo, Goyusha. Lizard Soldier, Saishin. Dimensional Robo, Goyusha. Greedy hand. Huh? What is that? He's using the Dark Irregulars. Well, that's weird. He was using a gold paladin deck against you. What do you mean you're changing your deck? Yeah, I think I'd rather play with these guys. Don't sweat it. No matter which deck I use, we're still gonna win this. If you say so, Bren. Hmm. That's a pretty risky move, wouldn't you say? Changing your deck before you head out for the final match? Let's get going. I ride Yellow Bolt and move Greedy Hand. I ride Dimensional Robo Dimariner. Goyusha Skill, move it back, and then I call Dimensional Robo Dilander. Boosted by Goyusha, Dilander attacks. Dimariner's next. Ah! 
I stand and draw. I ride Emblem Master. Call. Dark Soul Conductor starts it off. Boosted by Demon Bike of the Witching Hour, Emblem Master attacks. Supported by Greedy Hand, Blue Dust takes aim. Justice Rose will guard that. I end my turn. That's crazy. They've both gotten off to an aggressive start. They can only stand three units on each of their turns, which means as time passes, it's going to get a lot more difficult to hit their opponents. Dishing out lots of damage early ensures they won't have to deal as much later on. Okay, but that seems a little reckless to me. Me too. It's something they'll have to figure out, adjusting their playstyle to accommodate this special rule. Stand and draw. I ride Dimensional Robo Die Dragon. What a skimpy formation. <sighs> He's keeping it as light as he possibly can, because even if he had five units out, it wouldn't do him any good. Don't worry, guys. We just need to have some faith. Die Dragon takes aim. <laughs> Boosted by Goyusha, Die Lander attacks. I'll have to put a stop to that one. Intercept. Using Dark Soul Conductor's defensive ability, I drop it and soul charge. I think he's already got seven cards in the soul. That has to be the worst thing about playing with those dark irregular weirdos. He must be planning something. Stand and draw. Slice a path through my enemies with your unforgiving wings. Ride! Blade Wing Reiji! Activating Reiji's ability. Choosing one unit from the rear guard. I search my deck for three more copies of it to place into the soul. Let's see, I think I'm gonna choose Demon Bike of the Witching Hour. <laughs> Eleven cards in there? Don't forget Demon Bike's ability. He gains an additional 2,000 power for each copy of Demon Bike in the soul. This is a continuous effect, meaning that unless you can get rid of him, I'm gonna have a 12,000 point boost from the back row every turn. Call Demon Chariot of the Witching Hour. The Chariot charges in. Speedster will stop that one. Riding in on the Demon Bike. Watch out for Blade Wing Raging. There's no way I'm stopping this one. Along with the support of Greedy Hand, Blue Dust attacks! Since the attack was successful, I'll activate Blue Dust's skill. Soul Charge. No, come on! That's 12 cards. The Dark Irregulars are getting a little out of hand. He's gonna keep on building the soul, and then he'll unleash all that power. Don't give up. I hope it's not too hot for you, because I'm just warming up. <laughs> Vi Schwartz! Come join Rimuru as it embarks on a new life journey as a slime on the stage of Vi Schwartz. That time I got reincarnated as a slime. Trial Deck Plus and Booster Pack, now on sale. Bushy Road. Vi Schwartz! A new challenger appears. Come join us as we band together to fulfill our dreams through our music. Race of Sweden, Trial Deck Plus, and Band Dream Volume 2 Booster Pack. Now on sale. Bushy Road. He lashes out at the speed of light and with unstoppable force. Thunder and lightning are signals of the end. Vermilion Thunderbolt, go! Toshi 
Yuki Kai! <sighs> Why is their match over so soon? They called that a fight? This one should be a bit more interesting. He's trying his hardest, but defeating a player like Ren Suzukamori won't be ah. easy. I stand and draw. Nothing burns brighter than the heart of justice. I ride super dimensional Robo Dayusha. Call. By activating Cosmo Beak's counter blast, I add 4,000 power to Dayusha. I call Dimariner to the rear guard. When his base power passes 14,000, Dayusha goes critical, and here he comes! The cat says no thank you. Supported by Goyusha, Dylander swings in. So sorry, that's gonna be strike two. With Dimariner's support, Cosmo Beak takes flight! He managed three attacks, and powerful ones, too. And yet his two best attempts were shut down. Ren stockpiles defensive cards for critical moments like this. It was the same when we fought. Spectral Duke Dragon, demolish Ezel. I couldn't hold him off. But he isn't only a master of defense. His, his offense is flawless. Hmm. Too bad I can't stand them all. I'd launch a relentless wave of attacks. Guess I'll have to make some choices. The three units I'll stand this turn are Blue Dust, Demon Bike of the Witching Hour, and Demon Chariot of the Witching Hour. Then I draw. I ride. Blade Wing Reiji. <laughs> that guy again? He's gonna use him to pump up the soul even more. Using Reiji's ability, two more Demon Chariot from the deck go to the soul. With Demon Chariot's skill, he gains an additional 2,000 power for each copy of Chariot in the Soul. Oh, and one more thing. With 15 cards in there, Reiji acquires a terrifying new skill. He's now sitting at plus two critical. This is getting bad! Boosted, that's 22,000 power! And a triple critical to boot. No doubt, Ren Suzugamori is definitely a talented card fighter. The Stand 3 rule was meant to weaken their battle formations by giving them less power to work with. But by using the soul effectively, he's found a way to gather incredible strength in the center line. You know, it's almost like that special rule isn't even affecting him. They're two of the best players I know. I made the mistake of thinking you'd changed since we last faced each other. But you're still as frightening as always, Ren. I call. You strike fear into the players you face. But fear is nothing compared to my passion. Blue Dust attacks Dimensional Robo Dylander. What? Why is he wasting an attack on the rear guard? What gives? Cosmo Beak will intercept. You're on to my plan. Just a little too late. With support from the Demon Bike, Reiji attacks Dayusha. No chance, Ren. Ugh. Using Diamond Ace, I nullify it. Then, with a boost from Alluring Succubus, Demon Chariot rolls out. I'll guard that. Justice Cobalt and Justice Rose will protect me. You managed to block all three of my attacks, huh? Oh, Kote, what did I ever do to you to deserve this kind of treatment? Hmm. He was able to hold him off, but he's hardly got any cards left to play. Well, for his sake, I hope he's hiding a couple of gems up his sleeve. This is my last chance to finish him, but... It's risky. Final turn! Uh. 
It's no time to joke around. He's not serious. Hmm. Dylander, Goyusha, and Dimariner. I stand and draw. Here goes. I call dimensional robo die battles. What a shame. You managed to get a fourth dimensional robo unit. I should have tried to take them out sooner. Oh, wow. I guess that Ren was attacking the rear guard last turn because he already knew what Kote was planning. <gasps> With Goyusha's skill, I move my four dimensional robo rear guards to the soul. Now that he has those four units in the soul, Goyusha can summon an extremely powerful grade three. <gasps> Ren knows what's coming. The only unit that can defeat him? You'll bathe in the fires of justice! Let's welcome the wielder of that flame with the superior cross ride! Ultimate Dimensional Robo! The Great Dayusha! Arriving in the hour of need! Great Dayusha Online! Ren realized he had to take out a rear guard in order to prevent his trump card from hitting the battlefield. Too little, too late. The ultimate dimensional robo. Units in the soul lend him their strength. Get ready, guys. He's building an assault that'll knock your socks off. With great Dayusha's skill, he gains 2,000 power so long as Dayusha's in the soul. <laughs> okay, let's limit break. The other Robo units sitting in there fortify my vanguard with 2,000 power plus one critical. My clan worked together to make this possible. Cause that is the best way to build an empire. A coalition of members working toward a common goal. Witness the March of the Emperor! I call Speedster, activating his skill to give the Great Dayusha an additional 2,000 power. Using die battle skill from the soul, adding 3,000 power to my vanguard. And these die mariners can do the same. He's up to 26,000 power. And that doesn't even factor in the boost from Speedster, which will put him at 32,000. Not to mention the critical damage. Both went with a strategy that focuses their strength down the center line. But Kote took it to the next level. Incredible. I honestly didn't think he'd be able to hold his own against a card fighter like Ren. It's amazing that he's kept it together under this intense pressure and managed to muster so much attack power. These are world-class players. <laughs> Boosted by Speedster, the great Dayusha charges in! This is fun, but I've got to rain on your parade. Dark Knight, Emblem Master, and Blue Dust will guard that one! Along with an intercept from Blue Dust! That's a 25,000 point shield, giving Reiji just enough to hold him off. The attack fails? But it's not over yet, you guys. There's one thing that can save him. Checking twin drive. The first and the second. A draw trigger, giving 5,000 power to the great Dayusha. <gasps> 37,000 power combined with a double critical. Signals your end. Power before the blade of the righteous. The devastating, burning heart of justice! After all these years. However, hmm? in the overall results... I'm sorry, Kote. Huh? Yeah, we both lost. Huh? Oh. With a score of two wins and one loss, the champions of BF Circuit Soul Stage are the new Team Asteroid! That's too bad. We were so close to victory. Then again, that was the best we've ever seen you play. You were amazing out there. Thanks, you guys. Kote. Hmm. Uh, you were incredible today. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Kenji Mitsusara, what a fighter. 
Ren, are you... I'm fine. These cards hated me. What? I'm pretty sure this deck prefers to be played by Tetsu. How about this? Next time you let me use the Pale Moon Circus. Uh... <laughs> that card fight was unbelievable! I swear the new Team Asteroid was even better than when we took them on! After watching that, I just don't get it. How did we defeat them back at Nationals? I guess it's only when you step back and look at them that you can really appreciate their strength. They are a world-class team. Hey, Kai! Hmm? You made the right choice, joining up with them. Yeah, we're a great team. I wish I could say the same. <laughs> you big jerk! With the way you've been playing, I doubt we'll be seeing much more of each other. <gasps> you know, some people simply aren't capable of reaching the level we're at. Hey, don't go! The thing about Kai is you kind of have to read between the lines. I think what he was trying to tell you is that you need to get a lot stronger if you want to catch up to him. <gasps> it's probably hard for you to hear him say stuff like that, but I know that deep down in his heart, Kai really wants you guys to get better. I understand. I'm not at your level right now, but I'll find a way to get there. Daigo. Yeah, at least try to get the name straight. That's crazy! Uh, Daigo, please let me have a match with you! Hey, what's up with that guy? His name's Leon? Hang on, he's using the legendary clan. Aqua Force? And Daigo's deck is... It can't be! Next time, the legendary fighter! A legendary player against a legendary deck! Okay, can you pull up yesterday's sales? Um, wait, give me a sec. I don't think I entered the numbers yet. Wow? Uh, no way! The computer's getting angry at me! Oh man, you gotta learn how to use this thing, Shin. I'm sorry. Wow. Huh? Huh? Not a chance! <laughs> if I didn't know better, I'd be confused as to who the manager is and who's just helping out. I know, but more importantly, where's Aichi at? I haven't seen him yet today. Oh, that reminds me. <laughs> <gasps> Hang on to these. Yeah, sure. Wow, guys, how'd we get stuck running Shin's errands? Quit your whining. Here. Hmm? Okay, listen closely. Aichi's been pretty bummed out since we got back from Seoul. 
Get him out of here for a little while so we can clear his head. We still need to get food for the assista cat. Wait, we're not done? Let's get going, boys. Sure. <sighs> Thank you. Come again. <laughs> it's heavy! Maybe you and I should trade bags? Okay, next up. Come on, knock it off! I'm overburdened as it is! We're done. I'm just messing with you. <sighs> <sighs> oh, man, I seriously thought we were getting more stuff. I know, Misaki really had us going. What a relief. My little arms can't handle it. At least they're lifting. not thinking about the circuit. <laughs> huh? Who's that guy? Hang on! Hey, uh, I've never seen you here. Are you new in town? The wind brought me here. Uh -huh. I'm guessing you work at this establishment? No, I don't. I suppose you could call me a customer. Who still says establishment nowadays? Hold it. This place is even more abandoned than usual. By the looks of it, I'd say those three hadn't made it back from Korea yet. Those three? I thought you'd have learned our names by now. Huh? Mm -hmm. It's Corin And the other one! We're not her sidekicks, you know? <laughs> I'll rip that tongue out, you... He a friend Shorty. of yours? We haven't been introduced yet. Feel free to call me Leon. Leon? That name's familiar. Do you think it's really him? Yeah, I wonder. It may be in our best interest if we move this party indoors. About time. These bags are so heavy, I'm ready to collapse. I don't think you meet the new height requirement to enter size shop. This isn't a roller coaster. Hello. What? Hey, Suiko, did you forget to lock the door? No, that's impossible. Explain this. <gasps> whoa, whoa, whoa. <sighs> Wait, who said that? Could it be a burglar? That was scary. I could swear that I hadn't hit the light switch yet. Huh? Oh. Hello? <laughs> Aren't you? It can't be. It's Daigo! <laughs> hmm. What's up? Gotta say, it's pretty cool that you guys all know who I am. So I'm like, a celebrity, yeah? Are you kidding me? The Vanguard world is absolutely filled with card fighters who dream of meeting you! I'd even go so far as to say you're one of the biggest ledgers of all time. <laughs> I think you mean legend. Of course, a legend! Uh -huh. Right, bro? Mm. I remember seeing you featured on Vanguard Weekly a while back. Marvelous! Mm, hang on a second. There are rumors going around that you've been missing for months. Mm, actually, there's an interesting reason behind that mess. What kind of reason? Hmm. Sorry to interrupt, but we need to speak with you in private. Do you mind? Huh? So, what's up? Here you go. Oh, thanks. It was my pleasure. What's this about? I'm being nice because he's a total hottie. I see. Hmm. This is great. So, how did you end up inside our store? Honestly, I'm as confused about it as everyone must be. It was about three months ago. I was card fighting like usual when... Huh? Hang on, what? Uh -huh. Uh huh? What is this place? This is totes high! This is totes cold. Totes Castley? Ever since then, I've been disappearing and reappearing around the world. <laughs> Next thing I know, I'm standing in the middle of a dark card shop. I don't know what to say about all this. It just sounds so peculiar. Is that the cause? So, are we done? Huh? I don't want to keep the rest of those guys waiting for me. Sorry about that. Now, which one of you has what it takes to challenge my royal paladin deck? That's cool. I should have figured that you'd be using one of the legendary clans. I've been working at Card Capital for years, and I've never laid eyes on that deck. That's because only legendary players can wield legendary decks. 
they know the royal paladins, then why can't they remember that I used to use them? Maybe I can jog their memory. Daigo, I'd love a chance to... The winds of fate will determine which of us is the victor. <gasps> Sounds good. <gasps> Let's do this. Stand up, my vanguard. Stand up, the vanguard. Stardust Trumpeter. It really is the Royal Paladins. Crazy! It can't be. Officer Cadet of the First Battle? That's an Aquaforce deck. I've never heard of them. Well, a long time ago before we ever started, this clan was the most powerful of all, and it was thought they were invincible. Then suddenly, at the pinnacle of their power, the Aquaforce mysteriously disappeared. And that's how they came to be known as one of the legendary clans alongside the Royal Paladins. But there have always been rumors that somewhere out there, a group of powerful card fighters were still able to wield them. I guess some rumors are true. <gasps> Royal Paladins versus Aquaforce. I want to know more about who these players are. Yeah. Who cares? You both need to stop worrying. Matches like this are pretty rare, so we might as well enjoy it, right? <laughs> I ride the vanguard. Little Sage Marin. First, I ride Tier Knight Cypress. Then I call Battle Siren Dorothea. Boosted by Dorothea, Cypress attacks. It's my turn. I draw. I ride the Vanguard. Knight of Determination, Lamorak. Lamorak? So it's a royal paladin, but I've never even heard of it. Calling Knight of Silence, Galatine and Toypagal. Galatine will kick things off with a marvelous attack. Ah! Boosted by Toypagal, Lamorak comes crashing in. That's excellent! It's critical, so watch out. <laughs> ah! A draw trigger. Stand and draw. I ride the Marine General, Algos. Calling Titan of the Infinite Trench, Tier Knight Theo, and Tier Knight Lazarus. I'll start with Lazarus attacking your Galatine. Margal will guard that. Uh, would you check out that spin? It's so cool! But you're holding it wrong. Oh dear. Sorry, guys. Hmm. Backed by Theo, I'm gonna have Titan attack your vanguard. <gasps> With a boost from Dorothea, Algos hits Lamorak next. Check this out. During the third attack of the turn, if Dorothea is lending her strength in support of my vanguard, then I gain access to a special ability unique to the Aqua Force. 4,000 power is added. Okay, well, that's a funky skill I've never heard before. I'm thinking this game is gonna teach me a thing or two. I don't guard. <laughs> So this is a legendary clan? It's incredible. Yeah, but if anyone can take him out, it's him. Daigo is a one-of-a-kind fighter. I sure hope you're right. The passage of time never dulls his blade. His voracious warrior spirit blazes brightly within. I ride! White Dragon Knight, Pendragon. Pendragon? I've never heard of him either. This is wild. Their level of play is just unbelievable. New cards featuring popular units are coming to Vanguard. Which unit will you want on your side? Let's card fight with Vanguard now. Don't forget to look out for this. Bushy Road. New cards featuring popular units are coming to Vanguard. Which unit will you want on your side? 
Let's card fight with Vanguard now. Don't forget to look out for this. Bushy Road. Calling High Dog Breeder Akane to the rear guard. Hmm. With her counter blast. I superior call Pongle. Then with his counter blast. This Soul Saver Dragon goes from the deck into my hand. I call Toypagal. Galatine, get his Titan. <laughs> sea Otter Soldier will stop that attempt. <laughs> Next up, with the support of Toypagal, Pendragon attacks your vanguard. I don't guard. Excuse me while I check the twin drive. First check, second check. You can't get lucky every time, can you? <laughs> Boosted by Toypagal, Akane strikes. Titan will intercept. Then, with his skill, his shield gets even stronger. Wow, nice one. That's some first class intercepting. Underestimate me and you'll be sorry. You can save your praise. <sighs> What's the deal with that attitude? I stand and draw. I ride Naval Gazer Dragon, calling Coral Assault. Get ready to feel the Aqua Force at its full strength. Let's go. Naval Gazer's Limit Break. His Counter Blast, adding 3,000 power. Huh, just a little power boost. I've got to say, it seems pretty underwhelming considering that's his limit break, which means he must have another ability you're keeping secret. Wouldn't you like to know? Lazarus, take flight. Akane intercepts. Coral Assault comes crashing in with Theo's support. No guard, thanks. <laughs> Check out that heal trigger. Pendragon gets another 5,000 power. With Dorothea's support, I'll have Naval Gazer attack. And because it's the third attack of the turn, Gazer's skill grants him 3,000 power, along with Dorothea's skill, which gives another 4,000. That is a big one. I know what to do. Nullified with Esalt. Checking the twin drive. First check, second check. A critical trigger. Whew. I'm lucky I had that guard, otherwise his attack would have finished me off. Stand and draw. You ready for this? With a marvelous leap, Pendragon gathers his troops and gains incredible new levels of power as his limit break goes online. I've never seen a royal paladin do a limit break. Checking the top five cards of my deck, and if there happens to be a grade three royal paladin in here, I can take it out for a superior ride. Guardian, Spirit of Knights. Heed the call of Pendragon and bring justice to this battlefield. Now I superior ride the Vanguard. Soul Saver Dragon and his Soul Blast. This adds another 5,000 power to Galatine and my Toypagals, but that's not it. I call another Soul Saver Dragon. This is the true power of a Royal Paladin's Limit Break? Galatine attacks! Battleship Intelligence will guard that! <laughs> Gaining support from this Toypagal in the back. Watch out for my Vanguard Soul Saver! With all skills taken into account, his total power is 27,000! With a boost from the Toypagal on the right side, my rear guard Soul Saver Dragon is gonna finish you! Medical Officer of the Rainbow Elixir and Battle Siren Cynthia will guard! Unreal! He stopped Daigo! The wind blows for me. Hmm? Allow me to rephrase that. My final turn! Huh? Huh? I stand and draw. 
Splash Assault to rear guard. Using my Vanguard's Limit Break. Boosted by Splash Assault, Lazarus takes flight. With that hit, they're tied at five damage each. And that's only the first attack of the turn. He has four cards in hand. He might manage to stop him. Boosted by Theo, Coral Assault takes aim. Go, Epona! Defend! Naval Gazer crashes in with a boost from Dorothea. And since it's the third attack, both of their abilities are activated, just like before. Marin, Lamorak, and Galatine will guard that. Then, Galatine intercepts! He's used up his entire hand and then some! But his shield is barely enough to stop it. Which means if he reveals a trigger... Let's take a look. The first... and second. <sighs> The power goes to Naval Gazer, and I recover one. <gasps> it's all over, you guys. Not if he can pull the right card. Come on, heal trigger! A heal trigger saves the day! Recovering one damage, and as for the power boost, to my vanguard! He survived it! Not so fast. Uh -huh. Leon, I'm getting the feeling that your turn isn't quite over yet. Good guess. Naval Gazer will take me to the next level. When his limit break is active, if the attack makes it through my opponent's vanguard, provided that his attack is the third of the turn or later, then I can send two of my Aqua Force rear guards. <sighs> I stand Coral Assault and Theo, attacking Soul Saver once again. Coral's skill boosts the total power to 19,000. That was insane! I gotta say, Leon, you're a top notch card fighter. The wind was on my side, nothing more. I owe you my thanks. Only by facing off against truly exceptional players can I ever hope to improve my skills. What's your name, kid? Uh huh. It's, uh, Aichi Sendo. Aichi Sendo, huh? We'll face each other someday if the wind wills it. <sighs> Marvelous! That was so much fun. It's good to see that the future of Vanguard is strong. Hey, look! His time in one place is never very long. What do you mean? I think when the Royal Paladins were taken from this world that it must have created a tear in the space-time continuum. And now he's gotten stuck in it. So he's forced to live like this? Yes, until the Royal Paladin clan is free from the forces that bind it. Well, he doesn't seem too upset if you ask me. Good luck, you guys. Daigo, stay and fight against me! Uh, what? Oh. Hmm. Huh? Leon, I... What's with that guy? Not even saying goodbye? What's wrong? The royal paladins were right in front of me, and I still couldn't learn anything new about why they vanished. We've got work to do. Uh. Let's head out. Uh, sure. There are so many things I need to learn about this game. I know I can get a whole lot stronger. That's why... I want to take on the best opponents I can find. <sighs> we sure had some strange people in the shop today. It's not that unusual. Everyone that visits the store is a little bit weird. That's why this is the most interesting card shop around. <laughs> yeah, it sure is! <laughs> I did it! I've developed the most destructive final attack in all of Vanguard! It's the Anaconda Crusher! Ah! Way to go! Yo! I said don't call me that. <laughs> Kyo Yahagi is gone, and so is that Bigfoot. From now on, call me... Neo Crusher Mark II, the undeniably fierce Anaconda Man! 
<sighs> Get ready for me, VF Circuit. Toshki Kai, you better run! Because the Snake Master is coming to get his revenge! And just like that, the first victim of the Great Anaconda Man appears out of thin air. Uh... Card fight! Honestly, a lot of the things you said don't make much sense to me. But I do love Vanguard. Stand up! Vanguard! Stand up! The Vanguard! was super crazy cool! Totally! I think we were really lucky to see those two legendary clans face off with each other. Yeah. What's wrong with you, bro? You seem kind of down. Oh, uh, sorry! We need to stay focused on winning the VF circuit. Next time, an invitation to Everlasting Summer! Wow, a resort island? Blue sky, crystal clear water, white sand? I've got all these images that have nothing to do with my training!